Sometimes it seems everything is becoming politicized. Now it's the census. The Trump administration now wants to ask if you are a U.S. citizen. Here is what is at stake. We base how many congressmen Florida has and how much federal funding we get based on population. ABC 7's Taylor Tarangano with more on what happens if people are afraid to answer the question honestly. Taylor. Good evening, Alan. In the weeks leading up to this decision, there's been mixed feelings, even lawsuits about the controversial topic. Tonight in Sarasota County, we're asking what does this citizenship question mean for federal funding and for the immigrants in our country? When I got here, my English was not fantastic. Born in Holland, Robert Van Lingen immigrated to the United States 30 years ago. And I read the American papers to the point where when I immigrated at the age of 19, I knew more about American politics and so forth than a great many Americans. Because I've been reading that every week and memorizing names of senators and so on and so on. His long process to become a U.S. citizen, well worth it. But even during his first seven years with the green card, Van Lingen says he wouldn't have been afraid to indicate he was not a citizen if asked on a census. The country, the government has a right to know who is in here, who is a citizen and who is not. That's simple. Sally Mackett was born and raised in America and says she's against the citizenship question. It's a bad idea because people may be afraid to answer that question about whether or not they want they are a citizen in the census. So they won't fill out the census. So we will not know. And therefore, federal funding won't be allocated appropriately across states and communities because they won't have a accurate count. Good morning, U.S. Census Bureau. An argument the Department of Commerce says it considered, but then decided to add the question of citizenship anyways. In this statement, saying Secretary Ross's decision follows a request by the Department of Justice to help enforce the Voting Rights Act. It relies on accurate estimates of voting eligible populations. And in response to the fear that it will deter immigrants from responding altogether, a Commerce spokesperson says Secretary Ross found that, quote, the need for accurate citizenship data and the limited burden that the reinstatement of the citizenship question would impose outweigh the fears about a potentially lower response rate. There are compelling arguments on both sides. Um, and that's much of how you see this issue comes down to whether you're on the red team or the blue team. We have definitely used questions like this in the past without too much issue. But on the other hand, the Census Bureau did some focus groups in the past couple years where they've tried out citizenship questions. And they have found that, especially among Hispanic people in the focus groups and the test surveys, they become very hesitant to answer because of the political climate. A lot of people will actually be frightened of that question. Jeremy Pedrajita says in his opinion, this is just another effort to deport illegal immigrants. The question is definitely a, a first step of eliminating immigrants. And I've had conversations with multiple people about the situation of Trump, Trump doing the wall, trying to eliminate immigration, and the same conclusion came up. He's just trying to get a head count. A fear that with these surveys, the Trump administration will round up those who mark no. But political science professor Firstman tells us this simply will not happen. Because of previous cases where we have used census data, for things like that, there are exceedingly strong protections in place that census information is not allowed to be shared outside of the Census Bureau. Still, many say they aren't convinced, and an inaccurate count affects each region's number of representatives, voting, research money, and federal dollars. Uh, funding formulas are tied to the census, uh, and if you have certain demographic groups, if you have certain regional areas, certain uh, cities and states that disproportionately don't respond to the census, uh, then they will lose out on funding. That's billions of dollars in critical federal funds, according to New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman, who filed a lawsuit in early April with 19 other states and six cities in an effort to block this citizenship question. But the Department of Commerce tells us these cases are without merit, and they look forward to prevailing in court. The United States Department of Commerce says the request to reinstate this citizenship question initiated a comprehensive re review process to ensure all facts and data relevant were considered. I've put a link to their eight-page report on our website. Just visit mysuncoast.com. Taylor, thank you.